Let's talk about osteoporosis. Osteo means bone, porosis means porous. This is due to loss of trabecular bone mass that results in porous bone with a risk for fracture. Risk of osteoporosis is based on peak bone mass and rate of bone loss thereafter. Now in order to understand this, you need to understand the basic principle. We're going to draw bone mass on the y-axis and age on the x-axis. Over time, an individual develops something called the peak bone mass. This occurs at roughly the age of 30. Three things determine how high this peak will be. Diet, exercise, and the vitamin D receptor you inherit from your parents, so basically genetics. These three factors play an important role in determining this height or peak bone mass. Once you peak at 30, it's all downhill. You lose bone mass slowly over time, 1% per year, and it occurs in everyone. Now, what determines the rate of bone loss is going to be diet, exercise. Now, also, estrogen is protective. Postmenopausal women lose bone mass more rapidly. Remember, when you cross this border and you come underneath this border in bone mass, the bone becomes weak and fractures, and that is called osteoporosis. Most common forms of osteoporosis are senile and postmenopausal. Basically, the longer you live, the more likely you are to cross that line. Estrogen helps to prevent the loss of bone. However, once it is lost after menopause, bone loss occurs more rapidly. Hence, the two most common forms of osteoporosis are senile and postmenopausal. Now, what are clinical features of osteoporosis? There's bone pain and fractures in weight-bearing areas such as the vertebra, giving you loss of height and kyphosis. The hip which is increased risk of fracture and the distal radius also with an increased risk of fracture. Now if you want to monitor a patient's bone density, you can use something called the DEXA scan, which allows you to determine where you are on this chart to determine how much bone mass you actually have. Another clinical feature with osteoporosis is that all the labs are normal. This is important because having normal labs helps you distinguish between this disease from osteomalacia which can present in a very similar way but would be due to vitamin D deficiency. Now the treatment of osteoporosis includes exercise, vitamin D and calcium and the goal of this is to limit bone loss. Also bisphosphonates what they do is they go to the blood and attach to bone and then osteoclasts eat these bisphosphonates which induces apoptosis in these osteoclasts. So if you remove these osteoclasts from the picture then you won't be removing bone as much and therefore you decrease the rate of bone loss. Estrogen replacement therapy is debated, however theoretically it would be helpful because estrogen protects against the loss of bone. Glucocorticoids are contraindicated because they increase the risk of osteoporosis. In summary, osteoporosis is due to reduction in trabecular bone mass resulting in porous bone with an increased risk for fracture. This risk is based on the peak bone mass and several factors determine how quickly you reach that peak and how quickly you descend from that peak.